In a historic victory, NDA presidential candidate Draupadi Burmu has defeated opposition candidate Yashwant Sinha in the 2022 presidential elections and is set to become the first ever tribal president of India. Congress interim president Sonia Gandhi appeared before the ED for questioning in connection with the alleged National Herald money laundering case, while senior party leaders and workers protested in the Lothian zone. India Today said it keeps an eye on all developments having a bearing on national security days after new satellite images that indicate Chinese village constructed. Nine kilometers east of Doklam Plateau is now fully inhabited with cars parked at the doorstep of every home. Air India Dreamliner aircraft with 258 people on board flying from Dubai to Kochi was diverted to Mumbai after the pilot reported loss of pressure. As per reports, the Boeing 787 flight number AI-934 landed safely. The aviation regulator DGCA has tasked two senior officers to investigate the incident. Rishi Sunak came one step closer to becoming the first non-white British Indian and Hindu Prime Minister of the UK after he and Foreign Secretary Liz Truss made it through to the final round of the Conservative Party leadership contest to determine Boris Johnson's successor. Amir Khan hosted a special dinner for the Grey Man directors Anthony and Joe Russo. Dhanush, who plays Anne as assassins in the film, also attended the get-together. Also pictured at the get-together was Amir Khan's ex-wife Kiran Rao. KL Rahul has tested positive for COVID-19. Rahul underwent a surgery recently and had resumed his training at the NCA in Bangalore.